Hey guys, Max from Team Brother here, um, bringing you a, a new deck profile for uh, Magic Spectre Metal Foes. Um, these, this deck is Link ready. I've been uh, playing it in uh, locals for a little bit and a little casually with my friends. So, um, got third. So, uh, we should. So I'll just let you guys uh, check this sh check this deck out. <laughs> Um, Alright, so first off, we'll start off with uh, 3 Fox. Uh, your big searcher of the deck, you just normal special summon it, get a trap and add it to your hand. This is the main card you want to go for. Um, 2 Cat. Uh, this, ca this card's kind of slow, um, but you can set up for long, long time plays or just for the slow game, you can go for Cat and it works out pretty well that way. You can grab them from Majesty's Pegasus or something. Uh, three of Raccoon. Uh, your big searcher, you usually want to grab a uh, fox with him, so works out really well that way. Three of Ogama, or Toad. Um, if you can't go for uh, Fox, you usually go for Toad. This is the main card you want to, uh, the other secondary card you want to grab. Uh, two of Crow, also pretty slow, um, because we're only running one spell. Running three is a little overboard, and, um, we're not running the Tides of the Brethren combo in this. It's actually a little slow for this deck, um, <clears throat> versus other decks that can just do other plays on top of other stuff. So, running two Crow just works out pretty nicely. Um, Crow is the card that you could side deck out the most, that and Cat. So, onto the Metal Foes. We're running three of Gold Driver. Uh, pretty normal. Um, <clears throat> nothing much to say about the Metal Foes. They all do the same thing. You just want to see if you can set these guys up as a pendulum scale and then get out the combos that way. Um, whoop, three of Volflame. Uh, this card, your big, your big Kahuna. Um, you usually get him out with like Metal Foes Counter or something. Ooh, camera's moving. Um, so yeah, uh, if you have Metal Foes Counter out, <clears throat> if you use Metal Foes Counter, you want to get out Full Flame because he's your big boy. Um, running two of Silvered. Now, um, I'll, just for uh, the sake of um, having a 40 card deck. I'm running two of silvered. It's still searchable through painful decision and all of that. Um, I'll also explain why I'm only running two of silvered and not three. Um, you'll you'll see in just a little bit here. Uh, one of Bismagir. Um, card's slow, just kind of like cat, um, but it still has the pendulum effects as the other metal foes, so it's still like useful. Um, but this card you can side deck out the most too. Um, okay, so. Uh, there's a combo that I like to run in this deck. Um, it run it works really well. So I run one of Steelin, and then two Draco Nets. Now how this works is you normal summon Draco Net, and then you can get out Steelin in defense. And then if you have another card out, then you can um, you can go into Deco Talker by turning Steelin into or tributing Steelin for a Link Spider. And then if you have another Metal Flow out, then you can put in another Link Spider and then go into Decode Talker. I like this play a lot more uh, than just doing the Gofu combo because you can do this combo whenever and it works out really well. Uh, that's it for the monsters. So onto the spells. We're running one of Cyclone. Uh, Cyclone is the card you search usually with Crow. If you can't search it with Crow, then you grab it with Toad, but usually you get it with Crow. Um, if you want, you can side deck or main deck the other Magic Spectre. I think it's Magic Spectre Sonics. Really good because you can, um, with some of the Magic Spectres, you can actually get over cards like Masterpiece. Um, and it's a quick play spell too, so you can do it during the damage step. Works out really well. Um, one of Metal Foes Fusion. Kind of normal. Use it, search it, use the effect, draw a card. Uh, one terraforming and two of Majesty's Pegasus. So 
works out well. Um, in the side deck, I'll show the side deck later, but I'm running cards like Zombie World and Necro Valley, so you can take out one Majesty's Pegasus, and um, then you can like just search it and any each of the cards out with terraforming. Um, two painful decisions, so you can grab Silvered and um, Gold Driver, works out really nicely. Great search. Um, also can give you cards to grab with uh, Bismagear, or not Bismagear, um, just forgot the card name. Hold up. Mithrilium, that's right. It gives you Mithrilium. So that's it for the spells. On to the traps. We're running three of Tempest. Uh, big boy card. It's a card that you mainly want to grab with Fox and stuff like that. So you can stop any plays that anybody does. This card is a little tougher to use during the True Dracos, so you usually just want to wait till they use their effects because you can't use it when they're summoned because it's technically a normal summon. But um, it works out nonetheless. Um, two of Tornado. Um, three is a little slow. And um, you don't use this card too much. When you do use it, it's usually during the battle phase. So then you can um, just take down a card with your card. Um, and then... Two of Metal Foes Counter. Um, search it out with the other Metal Foes. Works out very nicely. Um, usually grab Volflame from it. And then one Metal Foes Combination. Um, so other great searcher. Um, so that's it for the main deck. Um, go straight into the extra deck. So we're running two Link Spiders um, for the normal combo um, on top of decode talker with it so you can just get some nice combos out um, if you do the Draco net combo I've had a lot of success doing it um, so it works very nicely um, one Phantom Knights of the Break Sword so for your level 3 plays um, works out well you can blow up any card Super Quanal Mech Beast Grand Pulse uh, really good for spell and trap card removal and it's 2800 tanks, so if you really need to just tank something through, then yeah. Um, I like to run Silent Honor Arc instead of Castell. This is definitely just um, how each person chooses. I just really like Silent Honor Arc um, because you can keep it from being destroyed for a turn, which can in turn help a lot. Um, one Lightning Chidori. You're running the Magic Spectre, so you can get Lightning Chidori out, and you can get rid of a card, two cards on the field. Works out really nice. Uh, one Abyss Dweller. Uh, you can get, you can stop plays from stuff like Dinos or Light Swarns if you're ever playing against those. So yeah, um, one Digoso Emerald. This you don't have to run this because you know it's of course it's a very expensive card, but this can. Uh, restock a lot of your plays. So if you have a lot of the Magic Spectre traps and stuff like that in the uh, in the grave, you can shuffle them back and then draw a card. So you can re just restock your plays. This is just for like way late game though. Um, and then that's it for the XCs. So on to the fusions. We're running two Mithrilium. Um, this card you usually do go for this card since you're not having. Uh, most of the time you don't have two metal foes out at the same time, or the card that's taken up the extra deck zone is usually a Magic Spectre, so you have to use Get Out Mithrilium, but that's fine because Mithrilium is a very, very strong card. Two Orkyalk, really good for the double piercing, and then if it gets destroyed, then you can also just destroy a card. Works out very, very nicely. Uh, one Adamant, um, in case something happens and you just you don't have any more Mithriliums or just something along the line of that or you don't want to use Mithrilium just yet. Uh, and then one Alkahest, um, just really good control card, stuff like that. Um, and then onto the side deck. Uh, this is of course changes depending on your locals but you can um, take it as whatever you want. Two Dark Holes, um, just really good for card removal, get rid of anything you want. Um, Two Archfiend Eccentrics, uh, very nicely. Um, it's just, card can be both spell removal and monster removal, so you can do a lot with this card. Um, one Unending Nightmare, you can run two. 
I like to run this card because of um, like true Dracos and I'm playing a against a lot of magician pendulums at my locals so unending nightmare is like really strong um, you could also run something like uh, unwavering bond if it's more of a more of a pendulum base kind of stuff um, one effect veiler just in case there's a lot of cards like uh, Zodiac or something like that where you know they're using effects um, that and most of that is like just their strong place two Lancias um, I also play against like Cosmos and stuff like that so Lancia works like very nicely with this um, one Necro Valley also like pretty good against stuff like Cosmos other cards that just work on banishing like Dinos um, this card can like stop so many plays one max C you can put this in the main deck if you want to get rid of like Bismagear or something I like to run it just in case like um, you know it's like okay they're special like their whole deck is based on special summoning and only that so I'll just put in max C because then it'll never be dead but ne max C is never dead two Kimungus. Um you can run two gamma seals or you can run one gamma seal and then one other kaiju I just like to run two Kimungus. Uh I don't have game seals right now, and this is just like a really good um, budget part for it. So yeah, uh, good against Masterpiece, all of that. Two Flying Seas. Right now, Zodiac is still strong as hell and will be for the upcoming month. So Flying Sea, I put in both of those just to stop Zodiac. And then last but not least, uh, one Zombie World. This is my big uh, True Draco counter. So with Zombie World, your opponent cannot tribute cards except zombie monsters. And all monsters of the field and grave become zombie monsters. So the cards in their hands um, still count as whatever. So they can't tribute for the spells and traps and um, make the monsters. So it can actually like stop their plays dead. Uh, you can search this with terraforming and all that. And um, it might be against like what the magic Spectres are because then you can't tribute the magic Spectres. But then, if it just stops their plays, then like you're basically doing your job as a Magic Spectre player, anyways, and they have to get through this first. So think of it as like um, a layer shield. So once they get rid of Zombie World, then now you have your traps to get to use and stop whatever. Um, so is that? Um, and then I'll uh, I'll show a couple test hands in just a little bit here. Um, yeah. Okay, so on to the uh, test hands. So uh, I'll just go through what plays we can do here and what we can figure out. So as you can see, shuffle this really well. I'll pile shuffle it just for the sake of you guys knowing that I'm pile shuffling and not like stacking shit. Um, so as I'm pile shuffling, um, my locals went out really well with this deck. Um, I did surprisingly a lot better than I thought, although when I did go against, uh, there was one True Draco Zodiac deck that I played against, and uh, it did 2-0 uh, me. Um, I didn't draw as well as I would like to. Um, of course, with this deck, you want to go first, and I didn't go first when I went against him, so it, it kind of like just kind of put me at a severe disadvantage. Alright, so we're of course assuming that we're going first here. All right, what do we got here? All right, so uh, this play can be pretty uh, regular here. So with what we got, we can so we can play raccoon here, and uh, we can get a search off. So with the search, we can grab. I'll keep the hand face up. So with what we got, we already got all of the magic specters. So maybe we should just grab another two scales. So we should just grab cat. Um, and that can help us a lot. So, we grab Cat, add it to our hand, and then we could play Majesty's Pegasus, uh, Pegasus Effect, Tribute Raccoon, Special Summon, uh, Special Summon, uh, since we're going to be using Cat as a scale, we can just get some late game cards for later, so we will Special Summon the other cat in defense. Um, so um, because of Majesty's Pegasus, 
Um, it's funny just to talk about like just stats with this deck, even because it's just like weak as hell. So this card now is at like 2100 because of Majesty's Pegasus. So it's really nice and tanky. So we get Cat's Effect, we search at end phase. So now we want to set a scale. So we can put Cat here and Crow here. These two you want to probably just set up as a scale. And now that we have, you know, Raccoon in the extra deck, Pendulum Summon, go for Toad, and then Raccoon in the extra deck zone. Um, so now we do the Fox and Toad search. So for Fox, we'll grab Tempest to our hand, and then for Toad, we'll grab, we'll set Tornado. So we set Tornado, Tempest goes to our hand. Um, and then, of course, if we really, really want to, set, set Tempest. If we really want to, we can go for... Well, actually, yeah, we can go for a rank three. So, if you want, you can go into Super Quanal or Phantom Knights, and you can make plays from there. Um, so that's one test hand from right there, and then uh, whatever we'll draw for next, um, it would be Magic Spectre Cyclone. Although, yeah, it would be that. And because we have two of these set. So we would play Tempest when they special summon a card, and then stop that. Tornado when they attack one of us. Whatever, we should always, like, Tempest Raccoon. Raccoon's a good card to Tempest out, because once you special summon him back, then you get another search. Um, and then Tornado's good, because then you can banish whatever they got. Um, and then End Phase, of course, we'll search for a card. We could probably just search for another Raccoon or Fox. Uh, usually that's what you want to go for. So we'll go into another test hand. We, we'll do about, like, maybe three or four test hands here, just to, like, so you can get a feel of what's going on here. Um, let us know in the comments what you think could improve this deck, or maybe uh, something that you might want to see next, or just, like, something. Um, we've been thinking about maybe doing some live duels, trying to show you guys what we got going on, show a little bit of personality in the group, um, see what everybody's running. Um, each of us in the, in the group, we're doing like fairly well at our locals. Um, we've yet to actually go into the Nats and stuff like that, but we're planning on doing stuff this year, so that'll be a lot of fun. All right. So, one. Two, three, four, five. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we got a metal phone now. Um, okay. So, this will be a very interesting play. So, we can start off by normal summoning raccoon or fox. Um, I get to, I like to be greedy and get just get searches. So we grab raccoon and then let's just grab another cat for the two scale. Um, so then, as we have Cat, we'll set Cat and Volflame as our Pendulum skills. And then, um, if you want, you can Pendulum Summon Fox out now. Or, you can wait, have Volflame blow up Cat, and then we search for a, uh, a card. So, in this case, I'll probably search for Counter, since I don't have... A lot of cards to stop everything so we go for counter um, and then if you want if you don't think your cards will be destroyed then you can just go for uh, or if your cards will be destroyed by like magic specter spells or traps and none of your cards will be destroyed until the turn after then you can go for a combination if you want to but yeah we'll set counter and then since we search for the other cat we can put the other cat down as the pendulum scale and then pendulum summon out Cat on the extra deck zone, and Fox. Now we search with Fox, and then we get Cat's effect for the end phase. Now, of course, when we search with Fox, we grab Tempest. So now, set two, and there we are. So we got a three card field, and if you want, you can go into a rank three. That works out really nicely. So yeah. Um, and then... Whatever we'll draw, we'll grab something with cat for the end phase. So, um, if you go into a rank three, 
um, and keep that, then you can just grab another raccoon for the search, or you can grab another fox. Um, generally, you want to grab raccoon or fox for your extra plays and just getting more out in the field so you can plus. All right, we'll go into the last uh, last little test hand here. So, so far, these hands have been very nice. Um, you can start off with a pretty decently strong board. As long as you can get out Tempest, if you can stop whatever person's like first effect slash special summon, um, or you can wait it out until they you know they're going to go into an XC, wait until they play the XC, then play Tempest, then all of their plays are done. And um, that's just, you know, you get rid of one card and then you can get that card back for the next turn. So generally, even just having like two cards out on the board, as long as they're Magic Specters and you got a Tempest out, um, it works out very, very nicely. All right. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so of course, we don't want to see Malfoy's Fusion in our hand too much, but this is still okay. Like, I don't mind this too much. So, put these guys in the back here. Um, okay, so let's normal summon Raccoon, and then uh, go for, I'll keep the hand showing, I always do that because I'm just too used to it. Um, so let's just grab Crow for the scale effect. Um, so we grab Crow, and then we'll set Crow and Silver as our pendulum scales. Um, and then... We'll uh, have Silver blow up Raccoon. We get a search. Now, since we already have uh, Metal Foes counter, we could just grab another Metal Foes counter. And then we can get two Vol Flames out during the opponent's turn. So we'll grab the other counter, get that set. Um, and then we can just Pendulum back out Raccoon. So he's back out in the field. And then, um, yeah. You can keep Metal Foes Fusion in your hand, or you can set it, and if your opponent destroys it, then you can just do the Grave Effect and then draw a card if you want to. But since we have Tempest here, we could probably just set this as well as Counter. Um, unless you don't want... If you want Raccoon to be destroyed, then uh, you'll Special Summon him in the Extra Deck Zone in Defense, and then set Fusion, and then hold Tempest for later. Um, so then Raccoon gets destroyed for on the opponent's turn. You play both Counters. And then you just get out two Vol Flames. So that works out really nicely. So you get out both Vol Flames on the opponent's turn. And then uh, that can work out really nicely. Now for things like this, you <laughs> you can think about running like cards like Big Eye or something like that. Just any rank 7. Because very often I do get Vol two Vol Flames out. But of course it's just not practical. Because now we have two Vol Flames out. And we have Metal Foes Fusion. So we could go into something like Alkahest or uh, Orchialcum, or Orichalc, sorry. So yeah, um, those are some test hands, and then the card we would draw next would be Fox. So not too bad. Um, so yeah, those are some test hands. Um, let us know in the comments what you guys think. Um, if you like this video, uh, please click the like, and if you want to see more, uh, click that subscribe button and uh little bell so you know when we upload. Um, this is uh, Max from Team Brother, and thank you for watching.